Alright, welcome back to Mini Lessons with Miss H. And today we're doing page 103 and 104, Unit 3, Week 1. So, the third page of homework is usually a Wednesday, right? So my expectation is that we do the spade strategy all together, right? So the first part of the spade strategy that we're focusing on today, Wednesday, and tomorrow, Thursday are survey the text, predict, and annotate the text. So I expect you to watch this video tomorrow, all right? And I expect you to follow along as best as you can today, all right? First, read the passage. Use the reread strategy to check your understanding of new information or difficult tasks. Facts, I'm sorry. So remember, we already talked about the genre we're working on this week. We talked about it in class. We're learning about nonfiction text, right? So they're going to teach us something. So here, based on the title, all I'm going to do is survey the text first. When we survey the text, what do we do? We examine the title. We look at the topic. We review the text features, title, illustrations, or photographs. So the title says Roller Coaster Science. I see headings. So I can start labeling these. This is totally fine. I see a lot of bold words. Look, I see a huge diagram. So this is showing us how a roller coaster works, right? How cool. There's even a little caption that gives us more information about the diagram. More, t more bold words. And then a heading. And another bold word. So, let's think. What are bold words good for? So we know that bold words are important in the story because the author made sure that they made them super extra nice and dark for us to see, right? So that means they're going to teach us about the topic, right? So based on this, I'm ready to write my prediction. I've already identified the genre, nonfiction text. Nonfiction means it's not fake, not it's real. It's a real story, and it's going to teach us something. My prediction will be based on what I surveyed, the text, the title, photographs, illustrations, etc. So here, my prediction. My prediction is that this text will be about us learning learning cool oh oopsie no worries roller coaster facts roller roller I have to look back at the title because Mr. Hernandez almost made a spelling mistake <laughs> coaster cool roller coaster facts Wow, that's my prediction. Now you write your own prediction, okay? That's my prediction. You can't copy my prediction. So what I highlight, I don't expect you to highlight. You have one minute to write your own prediction. Ready, set, go. Awesome. So now we're going to annotate the text. We're going to read it to, the to determine the understanding of the text. So we're going to look for key ideas and details. All right. And then the second read is when we read it tomorrow. Well, Friday. Okay. Let me leave that out there. 
roller coaster signs. Always have a marker. Always have a marker. Riding a roller coaster can feel like flying. Ooh. The cars race up and down the track. They go around corners at a high speed. Do you know how a roller coaster works? Hmm. So here they're already giving us a question. So why would the author do that? Think. Why would the author give us a question in the beginning of the story, of the passage? Because this is probably the author's purpose. Yes, this is why the author's writing us. they writing the story to us, wrote the story for us, I'm sorry. So they're going to show us how, or teach us how a roller coaster works. The ride begins. That's a heading. So we know everything in this paragraph under this heading is going to explain to us how the ride begins. A long chain runs under the first uphill track. A motor moves his chain in a loop. It's like the moving belt at the ch store checkout. So you know when you put, you go to Re uh, Presidente or Supermarket or Walmart and you put the stuff on top of the cash register, the little the thing that goes, the black thing or gray thing that goes and it moves your items to the cashier. That's what they mean by a chain. A moving belt at the store checkout. So it moves like this. You won't see it because you only see the top. But if you look in the inside of it, it goes like this. Like kind of like the loop on a bicycle. Right? The little chain on a bicycle. The roller coaster cars grip in onto the chain. The chain pulls a roller coaster train up to the top of the hill. So here, which is the most important sentence in this heading all right read it with me roller coaster science so based on that i already know the topic of the story is about roller coasters right riding a roller coaster can feel like flying the cars race up and down the track they go around corners at a high speed do you know how a roller coaster works <gasps> wow remember we're learning about author's purpose so this is the author's purpose they want to teach us how a roller coaster works. How cool. Heading. The ride begins. Hmm. A long chain runs under the first uphill track. A motor moves his this chain in a loop. It's like the moving belt at the store checkout. Hmm. Remember when you go to Walmart or Presidente Supermarket and your parents buy food and they put it on the little black thing or gray thing that goes to the cash register lady and then she picks it up and the belt moves? That's what that means. The roller coaster cars grip onto the chain. The chain pulls the roller coaster train up to the top of the hill. So this pair, this section of this heading is about how it's explaining to us how a roller coaster starts, how it goes up. So what's pulling it up? Yes, a chain with a motor. Very important. All right. Moving along the track, heading. The train reaches the top of the hill. The chain is unhooked. Gravity, bold word, takes the train down the track. Gravity is a force that pulls objects toward the center of the earth. So this is explaining to us the middle part of a roller coaster, right? So first it goes up, then it goes down. And the force that is bringing it down is gravity, right? Is what's taking it down the track that's what's pushing it towards the bottom all right let's go to the back wow what a cool diagram look at this diagram it's showing us the tracks look at the label the cars the happy people <laughs> and then gravity is moving the cars down the hill right as the train moves down the track it speeds up. Oh, that means it gets faster. It goes faster and faster. This speed helps move the train up the next hill. Then it happens again, over and over. So gravity is what makes the roller coaster travel quickly, right? Down the track. It speeds up. It gets faster and fun. Yeah, that's the best part of a roller coaster. 
in my opinion. The ride ends. Hmm. When the ride is over, the roller coaster train must stop. There are brakes built into the track. These brakes stop the motion of the train, so the movement. That's a bold word. This is important for you to recognize these bold words. These are the words that are going to help you understand what the author wants you to learn about the roller coaster. The roller coaster ends at the same position it started. Ooh, that's when you hear that the brakes of the roller coaster stop, right? We've all heard that sound when we go to the fair. You hear the the really bad breaking sound. That is the science of a roller coaster. Think about these forces the next time you take a ride. So this is the author's purpose again. They want you to learn about how a roller coaster works. So think about this. Next time you go to the fair, show off your knowledge to your parents. And say, wow, Mr. Hernandez and I learned so much about roller coasters, mom. It's about gravity and force and speed and so exciting. And your mom's going to be like, wow, you're such a smarty pants. All right. Awesome sauce. So now it's time to review. Yay. So now Mr. Hernandez wants to talk about the text features that we learned here. We're going to highlight them. First one's the title. The title is very important because the title will give you the topic of the story, right? Then you have a heading. The heading gives you like a little preview, right? Like a movie trailer about what this part of the story is going to be about. This was the most important sentence. This is the sentence, the key. This is the key detail that tells us how the ride begins. A long chain runs under the first uphill track, right? Then our second heading tells us how gravity takes the train down the track, right? So now it's showing us how it's moving in the middle of the roller coaster. Then we have this really cool diagram that shows us a roller coaster in action, right? Super cool stuff. Look at this. Look at this little diagram. Look at all the labels, the title, and a caption gives us more information about pictures, photographs, or diagrams. Maybe even charts too. You never know. A caption kind of tells you the main idea of the of what they're showing you of the text feature. As the train goes down, moves down the track, it speeds up. It's a bold word. They want you to understand that it goes faster, right? We did that. Then the next teach text feature we saw is the right ends. So once the right ends, it's telling us that it is over. So what stops the ride? The brakes. The brakes. It stops the motion, okay? That is very important. See, Mr. Hernandez made a mistake. I forgot to highlight that most important thing. And then here, they want you to think about so the author saying, in conclusion, that's what, that's the point of me teaching you all this cool stuff about roller coasters, all right? Don't forget to stay up to date with the latest homework vids. And see you next time. Bye!